All right, <clears throat> we're gonna retake this test. Uh, I failed it uh, last time, so I'm gonna retake it. I think I studied everything uh, enough to know what's going on. What is the output of the following snippet? Okay, so right here, um, in the range of two, it actually just goes zero and one. So there is no two, so that's why this is runtime error. What is the output of the following snippet? Uh, So this would be 3 minus i for i in range of 3, which is 0, 1, 2. So 3 minus 0 is 3 for i. So it's going to be 3, 2, 1, 4. So. So it's going to be 3 plus 2 plus 1. What value will be assigned to the x variable? <clears throat> That's true. I thought it was 1. But actually, I always thought it was true, but... Um, I missed that one because I didn't put an answer in so I didn't put the answer in this time but then I was thinking is it one but no I just didn't put the true in how many elements does the my list list contain it's going to be negative one zero, one, so it's three. What is the output of the following snippet? Negative one, negative one. How many hashes will the following snippet send to the console? One, two, three. And that's actually one, um, Well, it's zero, one, two, three. Okay. I think. How many stars will be will the following snippet send to the console? Zero plus one. If modulus two is zero, break it's not, so print one star. And then it goes to one, goes to two, so it's just gonna be one star because it breaks, which takes it out of that loop. Which of the following sentences are true? Nums and vowels are the same length. No. Nums and vowels are two different lists. Yeah. Nums is longer than vowels. Yeah. The 
value eventually assigned to x is equal to true. How many hashes will the following snippet send to the console? For i in range of 1, So this is what I don't get. I would think it'd be three because range of one is zero, one. But it's actually just zero. Range of one is just zero. That's what I have to keep remembering. So that's one, that's two, that's two. Okay. An operator able to check whether two values are equal is coded as take a look at the snippet and choose the true statements nums and vowels are of the same lengths yes nums is replicated and assigned no nums and vowels refer to the same list how many stars will the following snippet send to the console while i is less than or equal to three i add two to i <coughs> and print a star so zero goes to two print one star two goes to four print another star two How many hashes will the following snippet send to the console? Okay, this is weird. It goes one, two, let's see. So it's gonna be one, two, four, eight. It's gonna be four. Because it's like changing it to binary. It's pretty funky. After execution of the following snippet, the sum of all vowels elements will be equal to. Okay. It's gonna be one zero one two delete one so it's gonna be four. What is the output of the following snippet? Okay. So A and B. This is a, some kind of a binary comparison. These are all binary comparison uh, something. So A and B is zero because they're not both uh, one. A or B is one and A is one, so it's gonna be two. The second assignment reverses the list. What is the output of the following snippet? Two. What is the output? following snippet my list for v in range of three it's gonna be one 
one, 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 two, three. What is the output of the following snippet? Okay. For V in my last one. Okay, so it's gonna go one, two, three, so it's gonna be three, two, one. And let's see what I got this time. Boom. All right, that's what I'm talking about.